Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Honest Youth Pastor YouTube channel, the channel that helps believers use biblical discernment in all aspects of life. Today, we are going to be doing that by hopefully showing how ChatGPT can offer a way to help enhance your Bible study a little bit. And what I mean by that is sort of assist in the process of uh, breaking down books and helping you have a good study guide through those books, right? So oftentimes, you have to, you know, your New Year's is coming up, you're going to be reading through your Bible. Sometimes there's a Bible reading plan. Sometimes you have to have a study Bible with you on that. Sometimes you don't even know where to start or how to break it up. So what I want to do today is demonstrate how this may be helpful. Maybe it isn't, maybe it is for you. Helpful in sort of getting a Bible reading plan together that is easy and accessible for you, right? So this is what I want to show you and this is how we're going to approach it, right? So let's go over to the screen. This is chat GPT. To get an account, you do have to sign in via, you have to make an account or you can sign in via one of your social medias. So let's go ahead over here. Now, just so we know this is random, here's my closed Bible. All right. So we're just going to open this up and see where we land. And then we're going to make a reading plan. All right. So Jeremiah. So we're going to go to Jeremiah. So let me, um, so the first thing we're going to know, right, if, we, if we've not been in Jeremiah for a really long time is what is the book of Jeremiah? So here we go. What is the book of, uh, hold on, let's ask it a better question. Give me an overview of the book of Jeremiah. So here we go. Let's see what it gives me. All right. All right, so here is the first thing it's going to give. The book of Jeremiah is one of the prophetic books of the Hebrew Bible. It is named after a prophet, Jeremiah, who was active in the kingdom of Judah during the reign of several kings, including Joshua, Jericho, and Zebekiah. Uh, the book contains many of the prophecies, prophecies of Jeremiah delivered to the people, right? So right here, you have a synopsis of the book. Now, obviously, Jeremiah is pretty long, um, but you have... Uh, the overall sort of idea then about what you'll be reading. So you could easily copy and paste this into a Word document as sort of the start of, hey, this is the overview of Jeremiah. This is what I'm going to be looking at. This is what I'm going to be reading through. So now that you know that, we can ask the question then, um, how is the book of Jeremiah broke, uh, broken down? Um Broken up, maybe would be a better way to put it. I don't know if it'll understand that question, but the idea is we're trying to see is how is it divided? So there you go. So the book of Jeremiah is typically divided into three sections. The first is the prophetic uh, prophecies of Jeremiah, and then it talks about those sections. So how is it broken up? The second, the personal experience of Jeremiah. Okay, awesome. And then the third is going to be the historical events and the prophecies. Okay, so now we have an overview that we can copy and paste into a document that so we understand the overview of Jeremiah. We also have the breakdown of Jeremiah based on the kind of the three sections that you're going to find within this book. It says within these three sections, the book of Jeremiah is further divided into chapters and verses uh, for ease of reference, of course. So let's see, and I don't know if it'll do this. I'm doing this for the first time, but I think this would be really cool if it could make me a reading plan through each section of Jeremiah. Now, I don't know if it's going to be able to do this, but if it is, it's going to be incredibly helpful because it's going to give you, here we go. Um, okay, so yeah, it's braiding down. Um, and also, like what's really interesting here with section two, read through the section, the second section of the book, which contains Jeremiah's prophecies of judgment against the people. And this is particular, pay particular attention to the message of hope and promise for the future restoration of nations. Right. So it's breaking this all down. Uh, and at the very end, it says, as you read through the book of Jeremiah, take time to reflect on the message and lessons contained in the text. Consider how they apply to your own life and faith and how you can apply them to your own relationship with God. So this is great because this gives us an idea through um, the sections, but we don't really have verse breakups. So um, how would I word this? Um, how would I word this here? Um, So let's see if it knows this, what chapters go with each section, because I don't know what sections it's talking about. Um, so here we go. 
here's a breakdown of chapters with the books, right? So this is, this is good. So this now gives us an idea about how to break this down more. So these are our sections. All right. All right. So what we're going to be able to do then after we have this, so we now have, so, uh, so what we have now, we have an overview of the book of Jeremiah, what Jeremiah is about, the general premise of the book of Jeremiah. Then we also have the divisions that are broken up, the three main ones. So we have the prophecies, uh, his experience, and historical events. We also know that there are kind of a reading plan here, but more specifically, we have the three sections broken down into a reading plan. So what I'm going to ask it to do now is um, give me a daily reading plan based on um, each section. And I want to see if it can give me a daily reading plan for those sections, right? So we know this day we're going to read, you know, this amount. The next day we're going to read a certain amount. So here we go. So now what we have is a basic rundown that we can go by that now it doesn't mean the work was done for us. It just means that now we have a reading plan of each day, this is how much we're going to read. In those sections, this is what we're going to be concerned about. And at that point, like you may still think read day one, chapter one through four may be a lot. So as it's finishing, because it's probably going to give us a lot of days because Jeremiah is, a, you know, pretty long, but it looks like it's breaking it down into pretty big chunks. Let's see what it says here. So maybe it's, uh, yeah. All right, so it's a 10 day reading plan in which you can break down and say, we need to read this much each day. So day one, chapters one through four. And that's not really a lot, guys. Chapter two is pretty long, but chapter, yeah. So that's not too much. You could easily do that. It's not going to be like a 15 minute reading time, but this gets you all the way through the book of Jeremiah in 10 days, as well as each day gives you something uh, sort of an overview of what's going on. So on day two, you're reading five through 10, which contains more of Jeremiah's prophecies of judgment and the coming forth destruction of Jerusalem. So you know what you're looking for. You know the overall feel, as well as you sort of, you know what sort of historical setting that this is in and what you're looking for. And so now you know that, you know, I'm reading in, you know, about the historical or the personal events or the prophecies of Jeremiah, and it gets you all the way through the book of Jeremiah in 10 days, and you haven't had to do a single bit of planning. It's done it for you. It's broken it down into chunks in which you can now get all the way through the book of Jeremiah in 10 days. You know the overview. You know the sections that are happening you know each of sort of the reading plan of you know, section one, two, three, four, five, and you now have all the information you need as far as a very basic overview of the book to get through it in 10 days and understand it in a, in a pretty, you know, a pretty condensed manner um, with, with a little bit of reading on your part, which you should expect, right? I'm sure you could go further and break this down further, but I think 10 days is reasonable. Um, and you can always, always adjust this, of course, as well. So this is really cool that you're able to do this with very little effort on your part. You're able to break the whole thing down. You haven't had to do any of the plan yourself. You've been handed this. So this right here is amazing, guys. So what I'm going to do, um, obviously, you can do this yourself if you want to do this with any book um, of the Bible. I'm going to make this a document though, and I'm going to have that document accessible in the description below. So if you want to try this 10 day Jeremiah reading plan, you can do that and you can go through there and come along. Uh, in fact, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead and do this reading plan as well, along with you, if you're interested in it and uh, just to see how well this did. But again, that document to do that will be in the description below. You can access it, um, a PDF of it as well. So hopefully this is helpful. I think this is a very interesting use of this. Obviously in the other videos, yes, it can technically write a song. Yes, it could technically write like a really generic sermon, but a use case like what we just did, I think is very helpful because oftentimes people will come to the book, especially an Old Testament book like Jeremiah and be like, oh no, like, like what, 
how am I supposed to even do this? Like this, Jeremiah's got 52 chapters. It's really long. It's very Old Testament. Like, like what am I supposed to do with this? Now, of course, with this reading plan, you don't have any sort of study guide with it. You don't have any, you know, you, if you do it with your study Bible, that might help you a little bit more. It's just a basic run through, but it's a run through that you had to put no effort into whatsoever because the, the uh, AI put it together for you. So if you're interested in that PDF, there will be a link in the description below for you to download that. It'll be available in my store for free. You don't have to do anything, but that's the way you'll be able to get it and download it. So check that out. Hopefully it's helpful to you. And I'm excited to see how I can get through Jeremiah in 10 days. And maybe even after we get through, after we get through those 10 days, I can come back and do a follow-up video as well to see how that experience was, or if it was a little too overwhelming. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Check out that PDF below or that, uh, that link below to get the PDF and let me know what you think about chat, a GP, the chat bot, the chat, AI, the chat AI. What do you think about it? Do you think it's helpful or do you think it's just a gimmick overall? Let me know in the comments below.